Okay, here we go. Focus, speed. I am speed. One winner, 42 losers. I eat losers for breakfast. Faster than fast, quicker than quick. I am lightning. Howdy everybody, Pin Strike here. What is going on? Today I've got a very special video here for you guys, that of Daytona Championship USA that myself and my colleagues at Sega have been working on and playtesting for the last few months. And just to kick things off, I would like to thank my bosses for allowing me to record and overall just make this video, because it's not every day that you get to make a video about a game that has A, just been released, and B, is actually an arcade game, so I could actually record from the cabinet. Um, which is pretty damn awesome. So this game contains six different tracks, three of which most hardcore Daytona fans will of course recognize. We've got the two beginners of uh, Daytona International Speedway and 3.7 Speedway, the two intermediates of Lakeside Castle Speedway, which is the new track here that you'll see that I'm racing on, and uh, Dinosaur Canyon, and the two expert tracks of Metro City Raceway and uh, Seaside Street Galaxy. So the tracks I'll be showcasing in this video are of course Lakeside as you can see, uh, Metro and Seaside because the two expert tracks were probably my favorite tracks of all time But previously I'd never actually heard of Daytona as a game series arcade gaming to me was just completely in the dark So growing up I, I of course had an arcade at my disposal But it was never really the norm to like finish school and then just go down and play the arcades for a few hours instead It was more console based and I never really got into um, PC gaming until sort of mid secondary school so <laughs> gaming as a whole for me has uh, changed a lot over the years and to me personally it's actually quite refreshing to both play and assist with the development of a game that is of a completely different platform to what I am normally used to. Now to many in the playtesting world I am but a novice seeing as this is the first major project that I've worked on and I've only really played the previous Daytona games before this um, a handful of times so coming into it I wasn't really sure what to expect. Racing games I've always loved but never really gotten into them so as the project has gone on I've just gotten more and more and more in love with this game and just everything from how it looks to its mechanics I just love this game the fact that I'm comfortably able to sit and play it for eight hours a day if that doesn't show how easy it is and how addictive it is to play this game then I don't really know what will thinking about it as well it did take me quite a while a couple of weeks in fact to master the mechanics of Daytona which too many a hardcore Daytona fan probably sounds pretty weeny but I mean you know how it is when you first go into a arcade and you see a racing game you never touch the brake let's be honest you race you do not want to brake for anything but of course the drifting mechanics in Daytona is what makes it so awesome now this of course is the second track I was talking about Metro City which is one of the expert tracks and I mean, out of all the tracks uh, in this game, Metro is probably my favorite. I don't know why, I think it's just because I put the most amount of hours driving uh, on Metro. And I think it's the one track that I probably cared most for as far as its development goes as to how it looks and how it plays. And I think if you want a comparison aesthetically between Metro and uh, another track within the Daytona franchise, it would probably be the expert track from Daytona USA 2 Power Edition but the only real aesthetic is that they're both set in a city. But yeah, personally for me, out of the three new tracks that have been added to Daytona, Metro is the one that stands out for me. And I think it also comes down to the amount of cars that you're racing against. Uh, DIS and 3.7 have 40 cars, uh, which is the maximum within the game. Uh, Lakeside and Dino have 20, which is the minimum amount, but 30 obviously is what you're racing against on Metro and Seaside. And obviously, yeah, this being an expert track, you would expect it to be pretty damn difficult to beat. I am, of course, doing championship mode, which is even harder than a normal quick race. And so, yeah, Metro City Raceway is my favorite track of all time, which I suppose in some ways is ironic, considering I've only been playing this game um, for seven, eight months, and it is my first Daytona game, as I've said. Um, but I'd certainly like to know what your thoughts are and what your favorite track is. From all Daytona games, past and present, let me know in the comments below. Let's get a discussion going. Um, and also just for you guys who have grown up with and uh, played Daytona just let me know your thoughts on everything and anything because there's a lot that I don't know about this game um, as far as how its mechanics have changed how 
graphically it's changed both in arcade and um, on certain consoles so let me know everything and anything I would love to know. I think the coolest part about the job that I do is when the game is finally up and out there and we begin to get feedback about how the game plays, how many people have been playing it, what age range it is, all the little details that you kind of forget about because you've been playing the game for so long and you've gotten used to just playing it you kind of forget that this game is being made and it's going to be bought by people so actually being able to listen to your guys's feedback on social media on on youtube videos i've i remember i spent one evening just sitting and searching and watching people's videos and reviews where they've sat down at the cabinet and they played the new daytona championship usa and i can sit there and i'm like you know this is the game that i've been playing this is my game you know i didn't hand make it myself but you, you get what I'm getting at. Overall though, if you'd have come to me eight months ago and said, would you like to make a video about Daytona? My first question would have been, what the hell is Daytona? <laughs> if you'd have said to me eight months ago, you're gonna be working for Sega, then I'd have called you a mad person and slowly walked away because it's not exactly something you hear every day or a company that you'd expect to be hired by. But here I am eight months later and I've been playing this game since and it's almost become part of my identity. The fact that I know every single corner, every single turn, when to break, all that sort of stuff. Um, it, overall, it has just been a humbling experience um, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the fact that I work for Sega, I hate saying that every time because I feel like I'm trying to one-up everybody, like, oh, I work for Sega, blah, blah. No, it's just the fact that I'm in the industry that I want to be in um, and that I started off, you know, sitting here talking into a microphone about random games. And now here I am being able to record off the cabinet for a game that's uh, recently been released. It's certainly something. Like I said at the beginning though, I would like again to thank my bosses at Sega and the team that I've made, the friends that I've made um, whilst playing this game. And uh, long may it continue, I suppose. And I hope that you guys get the chance to play this game at the first opportunity. But in the meantime guys, that's going to wrap everything up. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts on everything in the comments and I will catch you all later for the next one.